nine weirdest mansions in the world. From art to dancing to music, we all have our own way of expressing ourselves, but one of the more underrated art forms that often goes unnoticed is architecture, but not today. Whether you need some inspiration for your future luxury mansion or you come around to check out some seriously weird home ideas, we've got you covered. What would it be like living in a giant Mexican seashell? A modern ghost home or a house that is the spitting image of the Flintstones cave? Well, you're about to find out because today we're bringing you our top picks for the nine weirdest mansions in the world. Oh, and if you want to see the United Nation of toilets, you will want to stick around for number one because this mansion is all but stinky. Number nine, Dr. Seuss House in Willow, Alaska. Did they build it with a crane or did they use a plane? Located in Willow, Alaska, this whimsical structure is referred to by locals as the Dr. Seuss House. It's one of America's many architectural wonders, and you can see why. The story here is that the owner originally built one house with a view of Mount McKinley, but he happened to build it right after a forest fire so the tall trees all short at the time. But as time went on, the trees grew taller so he had to continuously elevate his home to maintain the view. So he built level after level for 10 years until he died. The 185 foot tall skinny tower of houses still stands today unfinished and has been for the past 15 years. Number 8. See-Through House in Japan Next up on our list is the house in Tokyo, Japan, commonly known as the See-Through House. If you say you've got nothing to hide inside, let's see how you'd feel about sleeping in the completely transparent home for a few nights. While its modern design offers plenty of daylight, you'll have to to trade it in for pretty much no privacy to live here. The 914 square foot transparent house was built by Su Fujimoto Architects and was inspired by our ancient predecessors who once inhabited trees. Although its steel frame structure shares no resemblance with the tree, architect Fujimoto says the life lived in the moments experienced in the space are a contemporary adaptation of the closeness and extreme lack of privacy once experienced by our ancient ancestors. Even the bathroom is hardly separated from the sleeping area. How do you feel about breaking down all the these boundaries with your family and the entire neighborhood? Let us know in the comments below. Number 7. The Guéhost House in France Our next weirdest mansion takes us all the way over to Delmay, France and is on the creepier end of the spectrum. It's not easy to describe this disturbing mansion in words, let's just say that if a home could die and come back to life as a ghost, this is pretty much what it would look like. The house was designed by architects Berdiger and Pajus, and its haunting all white exterior was made using polystyrene coated in light resin. What's even creepier is that the house wasn't even built from scratch. The building was formerly used as a school a funeral home, and even a prison house. While it may pass as kind of a funky house from the outside, a black and white picture of this house will immediately cause you to refer to this home as a haunted mansion. Coming in at the number 6 spot is the Flintstones inspired home in Malibu. Our next mansion takes us all the way to the Stone Age. This rock solid house in Malibu looks almost exactly like the Flintstones family home from the classic 60s cartoon. But instead of the town of Bedrock, the one story home is surrounded by 22 acres of empty hiking trails blending in perfectly with its environment. The real world version of the Fred Flintstones home has one bedroom, two bathrooms, a fireplace, and several large glass windows offering incredible 360 degree views of the city lights and sunsets over the Pacific Ocean. No other than the television legend Dick Clark had it built and eventually listed for sale in 2012 at $3.5 million. As unique as the home may be, he eventually had to settle for about half the price in 2014. But hey, that's one hell of a price for one big rock. Number 5. Star Trek Voyage House This next mansion takes us out of the stone ages and shoots us way forward into the future. The Star Trek Voyage House in Hinkley Leicestershire was custom made by Tony Allain, a real Star Trek fanatic. It's designed like the interior of a Star Trek ship complete with LED lighting and intergalactic sound effects. Unfortunately, he was jailed in 2013 for downloading thousands of images of child abuse and his ex-wife is now selling the flat because she doesn't want to be reminded of the past. It is on the market for just 70,000 euros, but because there is no cooker in the kitchen and the windows are obstructed, you can't get an official mortgage on this property, so any buyers need to have the money. The house remains an incredible creation and a must-see for any Star Trek fan. Coming in at the number 4 spot is the giant seashell house in Mexico. Inspired by the work of Gotti and Frank Lloyd Wright, this stunning home is a giant inhabitable seashell for humans. Built for a young couple in Mexico City, the creative brief was to construct a non-conventional home that follows nature's principles of design as seen in forms of plants, animals, and in this case the logarithmic spiral of seashells. The opening of this shell, however, has been closed off by a colorful wall of stained glass. Stepping inside the house does in fact feel like you're stepping into the plant-infused womb of a giant organism and is followed by spirals on spirals. Like the TV room, bedroom, and bathroom which are located within the center of the spiral, accessible by a spiraling staircase. Even its furniture and appliances all follow some kind of interesting curvature and are often coated with even more colorful stones. Number 3. 
the Steel House in Texas. The charismatic yet somewhat mysterious sculptor Robert Bruno started building this steel house in Lubbock, Texas in 1973 and kept at it until 2006. It was originally intended to be only a one-story building, but he kept working on it all by himself and now it is a huge building that has three separate levels and looks like a giant vehicle out of Star Wars or something. But inside, there are no aliens or bad guys. The house itself has been empty since 2008 when Bruno died at the age of 64 after a prolonged battle with colon cancer. Bruno had been working on it for more than 30 years without living in it and only moved in shortly before his death because he wanted to experience it. But according to his family and friends, he never intended on finishing it and simply continued for the satisfaction of open-ended, hands-on experience of sculpting. Number 2. The Residential Church Homes Millions of people bring the Lord into their homes through prayer or go visit him every week at Sunday Mass. However, most people wouldn't think of turning a church into their actual house, but not these guys. A few architects around the globe have turned over 100-year-old churches into modern-day stylish homes and even mansions. The former church Thalen Scrafano in Chicago was gutted before being fitted with a clean modern interior. Rudvisor architects flipped the script on the 1930s Rotterdam church and turned it into a stunning lake house. Just look at the height of those ceilings and imagine the echo you'd get in that holy house. Some homes even cleverly retained a bunch of churches features like this former Methodist church in Fishtown, Philadelphia, which kept a lot of its gothic touches and even the stained glass windows. Or take a look at this home built from a Pennsylvania church in 1873. It still contains many of the church's iconic features like the original church bell. Who needs an alarm clock when you've got a church bell in your room? Number 1. Mr. Toilet House in Suwon, South Korea. In 2007, the mayor of Suwon Sim Jae Duke had his house demolished and built a new one to look like a giant toilet. He even named it Hey Woo Jae, which translates to a house to satisfy anxiety, which is how restrooms are referred to in Korean temples. The mansion was built to commemorate the founding of the World Toilet Organization, but there may be more to it. The mayor was born in a toilet at his grandparents' house, which may explain the obsession with healthy latrines. In any case, this house features a statue of golden turd right at the entrance and has a beautiful balcony with several country flags hoisted around toilet paper shaped roof. At $1 million, this international house of toilets wasn't a cheap build, but since Mayor Sim's death, it's been turned into a museum and is definitely making back on its initial investment. Well, that's it for the nine weirdest mansions in the world. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button and comment down below what other types of videos you'd like to see. And also, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button so you guys can be notified every time we upload new videos just like this one.